All right, CSC, match day nine, and we've got a stream. One uh, G's versus Ribeye Rippers, Cow versus Nan. Uh, it does appear as though Cow are playing four v five. Nan is also playing with a sub, so this is going to be an interesting matchup. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but we'll have to watch and see. Yeah, you know, honestly, from my take, I think the Cow is just. They're playing down a man to make it a handicap so this game will be even. I think this is going to be a 16-14 win for Ribeye Rippers. They're going to show them what is up. All right? Intimidation tactics. Intimidation tactics, exactly. They're going to go down 14-0, and then when, on that last round, the fifth is going to, going to join it 16 rounds in a row. I must mention, on top of playing 4v5, they're also playing with a sub. So, um... Oh, it's true, yeah. And we're going to see the drummer boy pistol ace here, potentially. We'll see. We'll see if he can be two players at once for this match. So, I mean, I've, I looked at the stats beforehand. As I know, I told you I was going to be the nerd with the numbers here. And Ribeye Rippers have won only 23% of their 4v5s. Well, this is, this is their they're chance. They're going to have, oh my god. So they're going to have a chance to play over 16 different 4v5s right now. Yep. They're gonna improve that rate real they're fast. Gonna, they're gonna boost that rate. You're getting some. You're getting some practice in. Getting some reps in. And it looks like uh, looks like Nan really need to practice their five v fours. Yeah, not good. Okay. Oh, okay. Good okay, shot. I, I thought, thought Gilfie hit that. All right, rush into the oh, site. No. Gilfie. Oh no! Oh no! No! It no! It was a one v three. This is bad. This is real one, bad. Both one in the graveyard, one in the pit. Gilfie, he's gonna have to push someone. It's so good. They they win the pistol. It wasn't the drummer boy ace, but he got two, and that's good enough. It was an ace oh. in my heart. All right, we'll see. Honestly, if they can make this game competitive, that's I think a W on its own. Yep. Yeah. Even 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 just a winning or losing like sixteen to ten, I think that's still pretty much yeah. an accomplishment here. Yeah. But we're coming in now. There, there's going to be a full save except one nade bought out for Gilfie. Maybe he's hoping like he'll get a king nade. We're getting 60 damage on all four of them. They are going to run into it. Okay. Oh, only hits it's an okay two, though. Nade. It's an okay yeah. nade. Mediocre. Yeah. Mid nade. But, you know, they are going up against the ones with nade in their name, so you know they, they had to know it was coming. I mean, it's also the NA nade, so... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Going for a beast tech here, one on the balcony. He gets cleared out by Chilled Pyro, and they're probably just going to go away, you know? Oh, and they hear the drum. Oh, they're down. pushing. Drummer boys, he could be able to farm here. It's one. Oh, oh. guys. Dink. Oh, wait, two what's kills. going on? Wait. It's, it's two on. kills. This is this is too much. They can't take this damage. The bomb. It's a 2v2 right now. They might just save the guns. They might save the guns, but maybe they could try for a retake. We'll see. Is it James time or is it game time? We'll see what they got for us. I think it's James time. Mark is too scared to even go for one of those rifles. Yeah. Oh, but no, they're coming in. Luke, you gotta... Marky's gonna bait for Luke, I think? Or not? Nah, never mind. They're it looked like they were gonna go for it, but with no kit, no armor, they decided they're just not good enough to hit two headshots and win the round. Nah, it's I'm just kidding. Still I think it's a, smart, it's a smart choice. It's a reasonable assessment of the situation. It's the, it's the smart choice, but it's the lame choice. Yeah, we, we're trying to get some content here. We're trying to keep the engagement up. <laughs> 100 ADR. Right. Okay, incredible gaming. Two, two to one. Insane I mean, yeah, one. Two kills in two rounds. Oh, 78 ADR, never mind. Oh, uh, unbelievable. Nah. No, never mind. We, we were going to do that, but no. Anyway, 2 0 for the Ribeye Rippers. All right, maybe not the start we were expecting coming out from the pistol round. But, you know, those are the most unpredictable rounds in many ways. And we'll see now that they are buying up the 1G, if the Ribeye Rippers could, you know, continue their, get some round, gun rounds on the board. I'm imagining with, the, with four players, they're going to be a lot more execute heavy than, uh, like, trying to default across the map. An, an amendment, actually. Uh, Ribeye Rippers are playing with two subs. They have a challenger player that's being promoted, or not promoted, oh, wow. rather subbed up. And they're also playing with Drummer Boy as a sub. Ill All right. Will. Well, two of them have already gone down to ill will in the apps. And that's barely that's getting any dead, damage man. in compensation. Yeah. It's just gonna be Drummer Boy and Holy Lamb now. I believe these are the two subs, right? Yep. Or no. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Fuck. T 
two subs. Dude, try and win a 2v5 against the 1Gs here. I mean, I was saying before, like, for these two, for the, the rib by rippers, I think it might have to be a lot more quick executes. Defaults might be a little thin, so it might be really hard to trade out some players. And I wonder if, like, the 1Gs will try and take advantage of that. Uh, the vid pops coming in. Ooh, ooh, Drummer Boy gets one. So Philology trapped in the cubby there. Flashing himself out. But Holy Lamb is not ready for the one in pit. And 1Gs take the first gun round of the game. What are you really supposed to do? You lose those two first kills and there's there's just nothing yeah. else afterwards. You can't get anything back there. No, it's true. It's it does kind of suck for an opening. And they're going to go on the half by. As you know, they lost a lot of players on the second round on that banana push. So the money's just not there. They lost two of their players. I almost said three. I almost did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But yeah, they lost half their team to that run. So they're going to have Drummer Boy on the Galil. He's been having some decent rounds. It's early days, of course. But we'll see what he can do with it. Got the boost up. Double port set up. He's heading, heading back to pit now. Alright. It will. Misses the shot. Running it with the Tech 9. Luke finds Holy Lamb. 3v5 now. It will. Misses again. That was a Almost a free one for him, but Tech 9 moves fast. Oh, Chilled Pyro found Mr. Philology. Opener on the site. A is open. So they have one in mid. The rotates are coming from CT right now. They're just holding. They're playing passive. Drummer Boy finds Luke. And right now it's a 3v3 on the half buy. They have the site. If they play this right, Chilled is a free kill. They just need to swing this, but I'm not too sure they're going to check it. They don't. No, Ooh. no, no. Oh, Drummer Boy is a 3 He finds the first. Finds one on the ill will. Gilfie has been tagged once. Let's see. They're holding back. They know he has to go for something aggressive here. Never mind. Flash comes up. He, he finds himself, but he that's, doesn't know. That's such an but NA he gets flash. A, he gets a shot. That is an NA nade. He's on the bomb right now. He's going to stick it, I believe. He's sticking it? Oh, no. It. Oh, with the 1v3! Oh, you cannot man. afford to lose those. That is a free oh, round man. offered to you. Two pistols, a Galil. Oh, no. A half by three pistols in the round. A Galil and a Deagle. A one versus three, no less. One to be three, two. Oh, they just got picked off. Shield Pyro finds the opener to open up the A site. Ill Will with some crucial op misses. I mean, they, they had everything they needed for the retake there. They they had the CT kill. They had that kill in uh, in Moto. And yeah. then they just, they just lost the gunfights. And... Yeah, they fumbled it on while well, doing with Drummer Boy. And Severe so bag floppage. Maybe do some fast B action here. Almost 40 damage already taken off of Holy Lamb with those nades. Yeah, but he's running with the Mac down. We're probably going to expect him to jump around with the SMG here. We'll see. And this is the default turned into a heavy B stack. Oh, but look at that. Yes, four players here. Three in the CT. Proto Bones and Holy Lamb going. They should have seen the boost. They Group didn't check. One. One in orange. Drummer boy gets taken out. Oh, Marky with Marky. two on the peak to 50. Show Pyro against four. Finds the first. Nice flick. Yeah. Pushing in, looking There's for the kills. Only one. There's still only two here. Mr. Philology is still on the A site, even though the bomb is down in pool. And there's this invisible pressure created by the situation. He thinks that there's possibly a flank coming in or that all three are stacked here, but they're ready yeah. for every contingency. I don't even think they know the bomb is down. They might oh, 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 great Oh my shot. god. Yeah. That was that was brutal. Just good headshots coming out of 1G's. Yeah, Marky with two on the P250. Getting them, getting both Drummer Boy and I think uh, Holy Lamb. Uh. It's it's all about those opening picks for both of these teams. It's you lose the first kill, you've essentially lost the round if you're if you're ribeye rippers. So we've gone back with two different force buy wins here. Low buys, upgraded pistols. And this round's even more dire. Two flashes of smoke and a tech nine on Drummer Boy. Drummer Boy has been superb, sublime this game, but I don't know if his tech nine will be enough to win them the round, but let's see. Holy lamb, Glock Ace, watch it. It's coming. I can feel it in my bones. Alright. It will takes the bay on the jiggle. They know he's there, holding him with the op. They're gonna rotate a fourth over to the A site, though. Seems Illo is all about the flicks. I think he's playing this a bit aloof. Mm-hmm. 
they, they're coming in a bit with a, a lackadaisical mindset here. A little bit of tomfoolery. Oh, okay. Luke finds the first on the proto bones. Mr. Fellow finds one. Yeah, it's just a clean up. Yeah, Holy Lamb can't get any. Almost got Gilfy, but it's an easy round for 1Gs. I mean, that was almost free, but when you consider that, you know, they are also on a 4v5, there's just not, there's just no chance. Yeah. And how do you think they could have won that round? It's, or what do you, I think, what, what do you think they could have called? I think if they disrespect the mid smokes early enough and somehow manage to find a 4v1 fight on that arch player, maybe get the gun and then someone peeks into them, they get that kill, maybe. But other than I, that, maybe, it's the lockout. You know, if I were the uh, oh, IPO no. here, I probably would have done something like this. Maybe something fast out abs, abs pop, but we're coming banana. They're trying to take him out with speed. Drummer Boy gets one. Marky finds a second. Another double for him on the B site. Okay. Holy lamp. Planting out. Yep. Three in CT. Luke has only just begun to rotate over now. Yeah. But they have time. Philology comes through. Oh, Pyro. Oh, good shot in the second. Clean shots. But he probably should not have allowed that to happen to his teammate. He probably should have been watching it. Might have been blinded by the flash. That's just really unfortunate. And why did you take a fourth? And even then, you could see there the, the util absolutely smothering them. That player advantage gives them so much space to work with on the retakes. Yeah. I mean, they only would have only got out traded 2-1. to one. But that becomes a 2v4 in this scenario, and with 3, that's very winnable. But 2v4 is just hard. The numbers are simply not there. Positioning and trading just also Timeout. kind of needed to come in better. Here. Timeout for ribeye. What we uh, got here? They're debating on the full PP bison buy. True. Production, what, what, what are we looking at here? Oh. No intel skill issue, honestly. Yeah. Alright, so the game is pause. I mean might be a tech issue, might be, you know, just talking it over. We'll see. Find out at some point in time. Oh, they've got a fifth. They they're no longer playing four v five. They've got a fifth in the game. It's Cad Cad Kahad? Cad, is this another Cad? sub or is this or we'll is this see. one of their players? I have no idea. Let's see. Cod is uh, he is on ribeye rivers. This that Cod, no, that's, that's probably it's probably a joke. I don't think he actually did. <laughs> but no, Cod is on the roster. He is on ribeye rivers. All right. So back then, check HL, HL, HLTV. Yeah, check check the CSC website. Check dust India. <laughs> I might. I mean, I'm not Indian, but I might. I might, I might go right for that. I got. I got a thing for the for those the small scenes, you know. We need I've a... always been, you know, Uzbekistan CS biggest fan. Yeah, I think we need to grow North American CS. You know, it's a really small and underappreciated scene. Yeah, I think we have a lot of talented up and coming teams. You know, like Complexity, Nouns are looking good. EG have a lot of potential. It's just a good time. And Liquid are a solid T3 team that could potentially move their way yeah, up the I think ladder. They could, I think, you know, with a, a little more time, Liquid could probably win some CCT events, really get some, like, Dukes against some of the lower tier, like, top tier T2 opposition. I think NA needs more spots in tournaments. Yes, exactly, exactly. They, they need more partnerships. They can get into more events as well, you know, like Austin Blast. Davenport. Austin is, like, definitely the best player on Davenport. I'm gonna be real with you. If Spec's not gonna be there, it's definitely awesome. They it's it's me. Battle. It's me. I'm actually the best player on Davenport. You're the best player on Davenport. You're not even in college. <laughs> we don't talk about that. <laughs> I still don't know right. if it's pronounced Dana Joris or Dana Joris. I have no idea. It's not just Dane Joris. I mean, two and apps. No one to blame. They've already taken up a site. It will find the first. and know they're gonna be have to be looking apps, but they just have the site. Yeah, this is going coming in from Arch, but they just ran up mid. There was no one to contest. I... Wow. We find them at a 3v5 right now, but the bomb has been planted. More than what they wanted from this one. 
Wook, but they get nothing. They may have given the site to Pyrofans one, but there's just no way. Yeah. They get the consolation kill, but that's an easy round for the 1Gs. I, I wasn't paying attention to their setup there. They have two in apps and then they no two in apps. They played two in apps. One, the opera watching from balcony. And I guess Mr. Failology just went to B. That, and they just ran it up lane. That position could have been worse, strange. but. You know. They definitely, they definitely did a really good retake here. It's much better than their attempt when it was just the 1v3, but Drummer Boy? Let's see. Now, will COD be the difference? Do you think now they have their fifth, this is a ribeye certified victory? Or do you think it's just still going to be a close game where the 1Gs are still going to take it? I know you're a NAN guy, so you might be a little biased, but I want to hear what you think. I, I think it's going to be competitive, but like if they've managed to put together a 3-5 to five score line with four people, I think that fifth man can make a massive difference, even if it's just contributing to the economy. All right, fair enough. Now, again, as I said, I went in, I was talking, I went into the stats, the numbers. Both of these teams are pretty middle of the road in Elite. Ribeye Rippers do have a better record, but 1Gs have a better win percentage. Like, they win more rounds. So, you know, I think if it's so, go, judging based on that, if this game stays close, I'm going to give it to Cal. But I think it'll really depend on who gets the most rounds in this first half. You know, maybe. But, you know, the meta, you know, we don't know. Are these T-sided teams or not? The Maybe Rippeye meta. have a staunch defense. Rotating a fourth over. Never mind, he's gone back. Because a CT smoke landed in CT, and maybe they thought they threw it. It's just waiting a banana now. I think they're getting ready for an execute. We'll see okay. now with the fifth player. I mean, Drummer Boy's already gone down. So far, the best performer. There's but almost no utility here for now. Gilfy, Marky finds one. Gilfy almost gets caught out. Decent smoke on the. We can see through it. Nothing taken. I get to wait the 3v5 on the B site. Inferno, of course, is notoriously hard to retake, but I do think that the 1Gs are going to win this round. The health advantage is too much. If they can get yeah. even fights, these AKs are absolutely going to chew up these Tyro misses his first shot. Caught. Is that a hand shot? Showing... Oh no. Just. I... Oh. I think that was oh. a running tap headshot from Gilfy yeah, through, through the wall. The wall. Yeah, might have been. Was... He did hit him. I mean, that's one way to counter an opera holding an angle. <laughs> yeah. Cod's barrel was showing. It's a rough start there. The win for the one G's, and they're probably gonna force back up into this. Yeah. Get there the is a world out. where they they do get that pick on the B site, but both players did a really good job of not getting picked off despite their low utility. Yeah. Alright, Drummer Boy kind of just gave a free frag, but I mean, if we look at the Ribby Rippers, they've kind of been playing off of two players. Like, even though, you know, it's a 4v5, the team game and all that, it really has been feeling like a 2v5. We need more from the rest of the players. Well, they've got to step it up a bit. We need extreme gaming. Yeah. Does he go like, for this mid repeak? Is Ill Will insane? Nope, he's just holding ult mid. He's not going to do it. He hasn't hit that cut. level of overconfidence yet, but we might see it, you know, if this goes to like 10-3, that he's just going for clips who want to end up on the montage. That oh, C to C highlight. Proto Bones out alone in Arch with the bomb. I don't think there's really any chance for isolation here. He's getting freed up now, drummer boy. Flashing him in, but not taking advantage of the flash. If Proto Bones does decide to peek up Arch, that will be the bomb down. Ooh, Drummer Boy found Luke, but Gilfie gets caught on the other side. Oh, they've all peeked mid! <laughs> Ill Will goes down. Two of them to be on the A site. Arky with the spray, they lined up. Oh, no. They had it. Only if it's a on the site. He might not get cleared, but he's not really looking on site, but Drummer Boy doesn't clear him. It's Protobones in the 1v3. Now, we've seen a 1v3 for the rib by Rippers already. And he's going to be. They seem to have abandoned it, but Gilfie seems to have an idea. They're committing to the stack here. Yeah. Gilfie's just holding for the CT rotate. Running down through banana would have been the right call. And the library peak is about to come in. Oh, oh. nice. Good find on the marquee. A wall bang. Nose Gilfie versus Gilfie 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 Gilfie. Gilfie. On the site. 20 seconds. And he goes down to Gilfie on the op. Repeat All right. CT, assuming the, re uh, the reposition would come in. And Marky is like the little sub that could. Look at him at the top of the scoreboard there. Yeah. Uh, you know. Op crutch. 
No, of course not. He's used the op one round, got a kill. He's been great on the right pods. We just saw the double spray down the lineup. Pristine. Think. I mean, there was no real reason for Drummer Boy to suspect that Fail Audrey was there on the site. Maybe if he didn't check the site for long enough, you know, he could have been spotted. But just unfortunate it's, timing there. And we're back to the pistols. positions where it's so stupid you don't expect it. <laughs> yeah, you know. Boy Wham goes down to Gilfie. It's all banana presence eliminated, which means yep. they really only have to worry they're, about the They're losing point. a lot to just some guy peeking down banana with an up. Gotta find a way to counter that because it's a lot of ways to get. Ooh, Luke might oh, be. Luke needs to chill out. Or maybe you just peek in. He gets those. Oh, you see him. him. He's gonna overcommit to the spray. Gosh, He's gonna through. go down. Oh no, he should have fallen off. God, come out. Oh, where, where, where's the rest of his team? Oh no. Oh, the the right Wait, underhand. No, dude. On the, what's going on? They don't know about Ill They're not gonna clear him here. They're not gonna clear him. Oh, uh, wait, uh, uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. Two v two. What is Very going on? Oh Ooh. man. This is just whiffs on whiffs right this now. This is an interesting round here. But the ribeye rippers have the bomb down. They do have guns if Drummer Boy's willing to get one. But insane run boost to the smoke. Yeah, that, that ship has sailed. I think he's just gonna have the P two fifty engrave. It's going to be on a lot on Proto Bones. Maybe to. Oh, wait. I've got it mixed up. Drummer Boy's the one on site, so maybe we'll just have to bait for them. Proto Bones is in the graveyard right now. Oh, good nade, though. Oh, no. no chance for that. Pizza one They're not going to clear. Grave. Not going to clear. Oh, he's got Marky. He saw there's the no, bomb. There's no defuse. Oh, he doesn't have it. Rebecca gets it. He, they've won the ego. Oh, wow. 7 to 4. Nobody lives. And you know what? I mean, it was a bit chaotic, a, a bit of, of some blunders here and there, but the Ribeye Rippers come out on the eco. Wow. How about they, that? They took every advantage they had. Luke over committing to the spray in yep. apartments, finding that timing on arches when Mr. Failology had just rotated in to help him. It will not quite getting the spray down on the guy coming out of abs, allowing Drummer Boy to get the kill. A4 gets that. I just want to make it publicly known. A4 gets that. <laughs> it fires more bullets per second, you know? So it's also just a better gun. Whoops. Choke Pyro. Really giving us that. Oh, one look at this. All the... Forward play through the apartments now, to get two kills in all moves. Decided to match them with aggression. It just worked out for them. It will does go down to the Molly and Apps, but. If Gilfie just holds that angle, he could have yeah. a really easy kill. He they found a lot of success with people just walking into him. So. And it looks like that mistake is going to be repeated. Unless and they have flash. one flash on Drummer Boy. Oh, they've just done it again. He's held that line many times, and they just haven't, they have not countered it with a flash or trying to like jiggle it out. It's hard to jiggle it. It's a bit of an off angle, but. Yeah. After that early round aggression, they're just peeling back, holding the advantage. They can't give anything here. Gilfy watching the jiggle peek. Marky waiting for the wide swing. All right, setting up. Grenade, front sight, of course. We're gonna have one from playing behind it. Yofi, peace before the smoke. Just enough time. God, it's a 1v4 for Drummer Boy. Oh, he's being held here. He knows. He's found Marky, though. This could go downhill if Gilfie dies. Oh, Gilfie. Oh, he's you getting shot me. at through the smoke. On the edge of it. Oh, <laughs> Gilfie finds it. A Quick solid shot. round out of him. And that's gonna be it. 8-4 to the 1Gs here. That forward like playthrough apps is devastating. It just seems like, you know, they're making a little bit, like... I understand they want to keep B pressure, because Bungie's have rotated four before onto the A site while they while they had Yopi there, but they seem to just be losing members on the B pressure, trying to retake the B site. Just They're just walking in. They don't seem to expect it, you know? The flashbang is coming come in. in now. We'll see. Now again, for Ribeye Rippers, Proto Bones has been showing up with a bit more kills, but we I mean, might need a bit more from Holy Lamb. I know he's been subbing, I know he plays in the, the t division below, we need a bit more from Cod, although maybe, you know, he just got on, could maybe not feel as warm as his other teammates, so we can give him some slack on that one, but we do need a bit more out of them if the Ribeye Rippers want to make this a productive T side. This this is absolutely a winnable match if they just clear their heads and figure out what yeah. they want to do. I mean, Inferno, again, the meta has been shifting T-side, and I know, like, you can't really just 
say this is what happens in pro games this is what's gonna happen here it's not that kind of you know but oh Inferno, man jeez oh, none Three of those names hit almost, that's, none of them hit yeah only only fifth, five damage on the cod oh that nade hits drummer boy though so yeah but i mean you look at that four nades spent for 30 yeah. damage not even yeah no it's pretty much exact almost 30, 30 31 damage. 31 if you count the damage on Cod and Drummer Boy. Wait, wait. No, I can't do math. I can't do 29. math. <laughs> Listen, I, I, my brain was born to shoot heads, not do math. All right. Oh, no. But yeah, Inferno, one of the most T-sided maps. What? No? Again, maybe the Ruby Rippers have something. They may have a really good CT setup. Marlon's coming out now. Flashes are coming in, but there's nobody there to meet them. Look at all the utility they're using, and they haven't moved forward at all. They're yeah. just sitting in arches, looking to explode out, and they will find the fight onto Ill Will. They find the one on Ill Will. Oh, Luke, that was a bit of a avant-garde peek, but it works out for him. Very what important. Say, if if what they, they God, he's if found they a, a banana. Oh no, Holy Lamb dropped the bomb. They have two there now. Oh no, wait, they're not watching it. Drummer Boy's found Luke. They're gonna have to go away here. Drummer Boy finds Phalology. He does! Two on the A site. Drummer Boy's been having an incredible game right now. 16 and 11. 109 ADR. It's 2v3 on the A site. He's posted aggressive looking for the ace on this retake. Yeah. He's subbing in. And he is the reason that they're uh, keeping this close. Yeah, I mean, he had that 1v3 earlier. That was a 4k on an uh, eco. See if he can make the ace. Marky finds one. Drummer Boy finds a fourth. Even he got the assist onto his teammate. Gyofi. Oh, oh, God, he stole the ace. On, no. Get this guy out of the team right now. Get him off the team. Cut him. You know, I want to see it in transactions no. right now. Yeah. No. <laughs> Proto Bones, of course. Now, looking at him, he was, you know, the star player, sort of. Four, rib, uh, four rib, rib by rippers for Cal. You know, so I always think, you know, he could turn up at some point, at any point, and just drop an ace on them, you know? Like, he's definitely their high-profile, you know, player right now. But Drummer Boy is kind of taking that role, of course, on his own. 123 ADR, 17 kills, and 13 rounds. Incredible That's... performance. Uh-oh. On the 1Gs, you can see it's a bit more evenly spread. You know, three players above that 10 kill mark. While on Rip by Rip, it's just the one. It will down on the Deagle, though. No armor. And, you know, if the Rip by Rip win this one, they will have no money left for the last round. So, let's see if we can do Maybe he can bring us to 8-7. He'll be a lot of damage in the Molly. No one peeked in. He was trying to find a pick. Oh, oh, look at the nades. Look at the nades. That's incredible. Down to 9 HP. Marky on the MP9 as well. Ooh. Look how panicked the nades are. They might be able to sense the fear. The low damage. Yeah. Cow coming in. They have, they have boosted up, I think. Oh, man. Three towards A still. It looks like they're still probing, taking banana, yeah. but... Cod swings in. It looks like they want to end A here. Just probing around. They must not know of how much damage has been done with these nades. Maybe they don't trust it. Two behind Arch. They're going up wind. One in the grave. Luke and not they're showing doubling himself. back. They're doubling back. back. They're calling back. the Yeah, they're going back to B. They still have two. They still have two smokes, two mollies, and a nade, and a flash. One flash, and they're going to need that to get rid of the opper. There's, there's, there's no utility. No utility on these players. Look, yeah, look at them. Theology's coming in though. Oh, they just run through. The flash didn't come in. That's one. They're not going to check the boost. Marky finds one. Oh, Drummer pushed through the smoke though. One coming CT. Getting checked. He guess finds it. It will three v three right now. Ooh, Gilfie trying for something. Audacious. Drummer Boy with another one. A 3k form. 
He's on to 20. 2v2 now. Holy Bones, Holy Lamb, and Proto Bones. You're not no, expecting a second player to have oh, gone tree. Yeah. I'm gonna tree. Dead. Just the one in charge now. One on two for failology. Playing a good game. But this one might might escape him. Goes down to Proto Bones. One around again from Drummer Boy. He's been unstoppable this game. 20 and 12, and we're looking like an 8, 7 and a half here. The Ruby Rippers have, you know, they, you said it themselves. They cleared their heads, and they're looking like they could they could win this game. Like, there's a reasonable shot. I'd say it's 50-50 at this point. They've calmed down. They're sort of reading into the mistakes that, that the 1Gs are making. And you look at Drummer Boy, there's a reason he's one of the most commonly used subs in Elite, and it's because he can perform this well, despite being placed into maybe a whole different system. Yeah. Right. Oh, Ilwell goes down. Drummer Boy again. And, finding again, his opening pick. Ilwell, he only has six kills, but he's going for these sort of confident peaks. He, he yeah. wants to I keep mean, showing sometimes you, I mean, I kind of like that. You know, he's not just completely... He's not completely shutting down if he's not having a good game. He's still trying to find that impact, but... Yeah, at some point, you just sort of have to realize Sometimes just swinging mid with the scout's not the best move. I mean, I, I do that all the time, so I have yeah, to... Yeah, but you're it. in contender. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I also lose the fight in contender, so it doesn't yeah, make mean, much of a difference. Yeah, but you know, I mean, yeah, yeah, to be fair, you do have the stats, like you do well. You, I, I can't, I can't knock you too hard. No, I, 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 I did the same thing when, when I was in like fighter and when I was in prospect. So, oh, Felology oh, gets two. Man. Oh, they just hopped through the smoke. Oh, what oh. are they doing? Oh, oh no. They missed their lurk smoke and they tried to capitalize off it anyway, and it just did not yeah. work at oh, all. Oh no. Oh, jeez. Joe Pyro finds one. Theology with four from the balcony. Who's going behind default? He shoots prematurely. This could be a 1v4 here. No one's on the site. Bomb is still down. Joe Pyro doesn't have it. But he's going to play around the smoke. Trying to get the rotator. He's already come through. No, he comes through and he took the way. 9-6 to the 1Gs. Absolutely absurd uh, that Philology gets four there, especially the first two with the MP9. It, it yeah. sort of seems like they they just they threw the smoke and they didn't know what else to do, so they ran through it. Yeah, it's a bit of a blunder there. Now let's take a look at the Ribeye Rippers. Drummer Boy has 21 kills. The other four members of the team have 24 kills. 21 kills. I said they say 24. They all have 21. And before that round, you know, he had more. <sighs> what a round from Philology, though. A bit of a, probably a misread of the situation. Just jump through a smoke and, yeah. But uh, we've talked about drummer boy a lot. Look at ribeye rippers. Five, three different players on 15 kills. They're, you know, the team. Just, they're all. They all have a chance to give us something good. Yep. Marky goes down the cod. Good shot. Having a very quiet game. He missed a bit of it, but oh wait. Oh, they were going to rotate it first. They're coming back. No, they going up. overrun. Holy lamb. It, boy it, finds it's not one. Working. Nobody's Holy peeking off of the flash. Kyofi finds one. Drummer boy. Oh no. Oh wait, 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 wait. Bit of a missed shot here. Kyofi's almost dead. Good flash. It will. Oh Water no. Kyofi gets him. There's a two v four. Cod finds Kyofi. It will with. 50 health. Todd gets three. All right. Looking good. Big impact on the pistol. Two and seven before this round. He's now got himself up to five. That's good it. round from him. The one G's sort of let themselves get split around that bomb site. They were focusing on the pit player, and then there was only two people looking at the site player. Someone rotated in moto. There's just a lot of fractured gunfights going on, and Holy Lamb took full advantage of it. I think blocks. maybe it should have been a queen around. Drummer Boy probably should have been able to get Gilfy, you know, all that stuff. But the win's the win. That's all they needed. Oh, one and all. They see this now. It will. All right. All MP9s except for COD here. And they're going to play very aggressive, trying to build up their cash. Right now, 1Gs are still out in T-spot. Just chilling around, turtling up, seeing if the aggression will come all the way to them. Chilled Pyro finds another down banana. They've got 5v3 Let's advantage. They, they might keep pushing for the money, but honestly, it would be smarter. Three there. Oh, the flash! 
that's a that's an unfortunate flash. Yeah. Choke Pyro still gets ill will down to nine health. There's still no universe where the one G's win this, but if they get even they one kill, that's good enough. Oh, but look, Cod finds one. Choke Pyro finds another fail. Oh, she does get Choke Pyro on the Glock, but I I think the one v five on the Glock is a, it's just a bridge too far for him. Yeah, Cod finishes it up. Queen conversion, but here comes the guns again. Now the Ribby Rippers did win the pistol round and the conversion on when they were playing 4v5. But we'll see if the 5v5 is enough to have them win the first gun round. If if they can break them on this first gun round and get their eco built, it's it can be a clean sweep yeah. for the next few rounds until the 1Gs figure something out. But it all depends on this now. We will still have to see what goes on. Maybe maybe there's a maybe there's a bit of trolling to be had. Still three MP9s coming in. Chilled Pyro, the one who died last round, coming up with the M4. But it's it's the A1, so that means he's gonna die because the A1 is just bad. No head armor either, although it doesn't really matter as they're only. Oh, what a nade on the Marky! Gilfie also almost dead. This Marky's late banana burning. Utrill is so good. Oh, wow, two players down to 30 health. Oh, Marky down to 25. A lot of damage done. See if the A player is going to have more success. Again, three MP9s. All of which are on the A side. Both M4s are playing B. If they walk into these MP9s, the low players are going to get eaten. Yeah. Absolutely they're eaten. They're still staying around B. It's still a default. They're just looking for something. This could be maybe an opportunity. Oh, Protomons has found Luke. It's one victim to the MP9. Holy Lamb is rotating over the B site. A bunch of very squishy players coming in, so maybe an opportunity to get himself more on the scoreboard. Ooh, pushing too much. Proto Bones. That does rotate one off the B bomb site. The three v two here. If they if they can if they can put down some smokes and run in, hit some shots, they're gonna be set. Oh, good one, Joe Pyro. Does not get the second. Still, COD, with one, with two! Brilliantly done. Don't tie to the Molly, though. There's fail. I think at this point he just yeah. is trying to save. He's, there's one, nothing else Maybe, you know, he's going for the play. 15 seconds left, he's going to say, you know what? Everyone's been hyping me up. It's two and CT. One on the site. Guess what? Guess who? No way. No way. There's, there's absolutely no universe that should be possible, and it doesn't happen. Oh, he, he doesn't okay, clear the me. site. Okay, oh, he almost yeah. had it. Oh my god! Did nobody oh. call out that Cod was yeah, also they had there? Him. No, Cod, they had him. No, Cod was on site. They just, I would have been screaming that he's on site. Oh, but he's so close. He almost, with 10 seconds left, he ran up Banana and almost did it. He could have gotten the last one. That would have been an insane 1v3, but it, he just would didn't expect Cod to be where he yeah. was. The information was there, just a communications breakdown. But it's going to be again on the pistols for the 1Gs here. 100%. The staggered utility by the ribeye rippers on banana worked really well last round, so I'm wondering if they'll just continue doing that. Awful oh, guilty with a busting shot. Drummer Blake, oh, a lot of damage through the smoke, though. Look at that. Ooh. The smoke might as well be a glass door to him. His Sometimes eyes roll back and he's watching. The A's know something we know. Can they tell the movement of the particles if there's someone inside? He sniffs his L his uh, L C D screen and it tells him where everybody is. Oh, Proto Bones. Finds one. Drummer Boy finds another on the Luke. Oh, this is a clean up. It will, it will one before it's coming. I can feel it. Nah. No, it's not coming. I'm Drummer sorry. Boy right. coming into the twentieth round is twenty seven kills. Wow. It's that that was it, it almost seemed like they wanted to push forward but were too scared to. And yeah. it, it just kind of led them to being compacted in mid. They called to push him, but then they looked at the scoreboard and they said, nah, never mind. No, this dude's got twenty he's about to drop a thirty bomb and we're not even like close yeah. to done with this half yet. Almost. Like now Ribby Rippers takes once again taking the lead that they haven't had since the pistol round, the first round of the game. The resurgence has been absolutely insane. Yeah. Cod, 10 and 7. He's showing up very well. Still not a lot to write home about Holy Lamb, but if the rest of your team is performing, doesn't matter. People are getting kills where they need to, and of course, Drummer exactly. Boy doing Drummer Boy things. 
I mean, again, it's, it, sometimes it's tough to go up a tier, you know. Uh, again, it's just it's just one of these rounds where one G's are looking oh, for space. Geo's pyro. Oh no! Ty gets one. Can't get second. B is open. Are they? Right yeah, they, they know it. It will. Gone through. The, the bomb is gonna take so long to get here though, and there's True. there's Luke gun dying oh, in mid. Look at look at Holy Lamb. He's going to oh. Oh, he jumped on top of the boxes. Insane, nutty gameplay. All right, still two v three. They're going for it. Holy Wham goes down to Gilfy. Ooh. All they have to worry about is this last CT player, and they have they will have equal. Just Chung and Church. Oh, let's see. Maybe you go for a ninja. Maybe you put a bone. If they that push guy. this, if they push this, he will double kill them, and you like the insane gamer he is. He'll let's win round. Cleared. They're looking like they're gonna clear him. It's not a hard clear though, oh, that's it's just sort of a lazy look. Oh, oh, they got him. He's also in there, there you see go. him. Yeah. Alright, he gets the first, but not much. Not much else to say here. So the trading on banana there was it was kind of sloppy from the rib by yeah. Rippers and one G's were able to take advantage. Other than that though. He got the first to the smoke, and I don't think free peeking was the right play there. Drop your smoke, get back, call for a rotate, but you live and you learn? And Gilfie did a really good job getting those kills in the post plant to make sure that there was True. no re-entry into the site, no flashes through the CT smoke to disrupt anything. The initiative to just jump on the box, grab Drummer Boy to CT, he's just spamming through the smoke. The peak banana right on the Gilfie, uh, oh shoot, <laughs> the peak banana right on the Holy Lamb, who tried running through the molly that was down there to try to take him by surprise, but you just can't surprise him. He expects all of the unexpected things. There's not much you can do, you know, you get that kill on Luke in mid and it's sort of an alarm bell, but you have to go for yeah. that kill, you can't just give it up. Exactly. It's like when you have the bot in a game, and, and it just it, pushes down somewhere, and then they yeah, kill him, and you're like, oh. Yeah, it's dust too, and it just runs down suicide. And then you, and you, but then you just know that they're there, so you're like, alright, cool. It's, it's, again, this this utility... Oh, Marky, ah, oh, Marky, no. Marky. Not worth it. <laughs> I mean, I do that too a lot. I can't blame him. You just kind of want to, right? You're like, oh, it won't spread to me. But what if it doesn't spread and then they push down banana and I can get a free kill? <laughs> exactly, right? Everyone wants to get the, their banana 3k. Go be getting set up here. Go through. Flash did work. Oh, going for something. Oh. Go down to 12. Both of these players here are low. Gilfi goes down the cod. Marky has... 37 health. He's getting out of there. A third has been rotated over. And They're the holding. Very slowly now. Waiting for okay. any reaggression. There we go. Now now there's the Yo, rotation. Will, just hold it. He's going to give it to you. Do it. Come on. You know you want to hit it. Do it, it again. Ah, oh, man. Maybe maybe Chilled Pyro saw him. He's lame. He needs, to, he needs to jump over that wall and get the jump spot. Come on now. There is, there is a moment here where if they execute, they're going to find Ribeye Rippers a little bit frazzled. If if they clear this boost position, they, they can honestly be set. All right. Protobones is playing for a quick B rotate on the arches. Execution is about to come in. 15 seconds. The Ribeye Rippers can play a bit of time now. They need to check the boost, though. And it yeah, hasn't been checked. And the power has not been checked. Luke finds Protobones on the rotate. But there's just no time. They're not ready for time. There's just no time. <laughs> he almost got away with it. Oh, they kill him. No time. It's after time. Nice. Ill will. Down to $150. Rough. Again, it's just like, it seems like they, they have the right idea, but they, they don't really execute it well. You know, nobody nobody is there to trade on that boost kill for a while. They fail to kill CT, and then they're not expecting COD new bucks. Yeah. There was a world where they might have been able to do it, but I, I, you know, I don't expect COD to just randomly forget how to shoot his gun. This wouldn't happen. Given given the kill death ratio for the yeah. 1Gs on average compared to the ribeye oh, rippers, that is certainly something. Fail. They were a bit. If they were a bit more proactive. They probably would have gotten both of them on that on the switch. That, that could have been a free double entry, and they just yeah. didn't take advantage. Oh, it went with the clock. Oh, no What's going on? He almost Durable got him too. They're always down to 18. If he had like a tech 9 or something, he would have gotten a kill. And there goes Shield Power. Pyro misses, but Drummer Boy, again, he's on a 30. Drummer Boy on a 31. Oh no, Luke is in dark. 
They have no idea about him. Strong Boy is being held right now by Marky. But the thing is, now that they've done that, Strong Boy would be more likely to look there. That might have given up Marky. We're peeking in. Drumboy with a fourth! Oh my god! It, it just dismantles. They they have it. They know where that new box player is on site. They know that they have CT rotations coming yeah. in, and still they manage to lose the round. They spend too much time not really doing anything. I mean, they just couldn't win the gunfights. Drumboy came in. He had 19 health on that last kill on the Luke. They, they had so many chances to get kills, yeah. and they just did not take I mean, them. Ill Will jumped through CT with the Glock. And put him down to 19 health. And Drummer was still able to get three kills after that. It's insane how well he's playing. He's 32 and 16. A 2 KD. If, right if Ill Will gets that kill with the Glock, it could honestly yeah, yeah, have set up the rest of the Entirely different period. round. One, one headshot, maybe. That could have changed everything. No Drummer Boy to get him out of that. For the ribeye rippers. But now, 12-10 and the team is broke. They have they have a single smoke to work with and they're stuck in banana. They have no idea what to do. I mean, it's not like the util is particularly great for the ribeye rippers either. But when you're going against two Glocks, a Deagle, a Tech Nine, a P250, this should be routine for them. If they avoid the A bomb site, Gilfi goes down on the B work. They still have three. Are they still have three? They're setting up for a Hall's Pop, it looks yeah, so like. That is the right call. Based on the setup right now, the Hall's Pop is what they need. But they're still going to have to find Holy Holy Lamb. Not having the best of games. But if he can get a good stand on the A side here. Oh, okay. See, one goes by. Jumps in the mini pit. Dead on the... Get into the molly. One on site. Gets two. Gets three. Perfectly done. He's a good position there. for that as well. He's expecting the Hall's Pop. His teammate has mid. He knows exactly how he can play that situation. Yeah, he, he's done it right. He's played his life, waited for people to get there, but he didn't need the help. All three kills, one with some good knowledge. One with the good molly. It's some good stuff. Remember, Simply Rippers have had a near flawless CT side so far. Pretty much. It's it's very dominant. They look very confident. Their utility is very strong. They're able to lock 1Gs out of these rounds, even in scenarios where they just have no right winning. Yeah. They were down 9-6. to six. And even when COD came back, it wasn't great, their T side. So yeah. only went on to win two more rounds. But on the CT side, that fifth man is so much more important. And they have shown that they have the CT side for it. Yeah. Predictions. It's 40 by the end of the game? Huh? Do you think, you think Drummer is going to have 40 by the end of this game? 40, it depends. If they <laughs> keep feeding him, it depends on what he goes. He's been very good on the rotates. He's been very proactive. Let's see. And uh, again, it's one minute left on the clock, and the one G's have no space besides top banana. Yeah, haven't been finding a lot here. In the clock. Fifty seconds. Now they did already lose a round to time. The one G's. Their window is closing. If they want to go somewhere, they have to pick it right now. He's and with the kill going it. away on B, it's it doesn't oh, look likely. Oh, a chance for a second. Drummer Boy finds Ill Will. It's his 34th of the game so far. 34 and 16. Proto Bones not allowing Holy Lamb to get blindsided. And they're just playing this advantage perfectly. Nope, they're does being find it, but Proto Bones finds him again. Ooh. A bit of an audacious swing there, but Holy Lamb quick on the trade. The 14th for by Rippers. They have gone 8-1 and one on the CT side so far. As the comms and team play on the 1Gs dissolves, it only improves on the side of the ribeye rippers. Yeah. And they're playing these, you know, these 5v4 angles perfectly. They're getting the kills, they're backing off, they're making sure that everyone is tradable at all moments in time. It's really solid out of them. Yeah. Now, I don't even remember which round the 1Gs won so far for this half. I don't remember how they did it. Show it there with the same answer, you know. How can they win? Ooh, through the wall, I think. It will tag down heavily. They're, they have mid, but Holy Lamb's probably gonna peek and he sees the gun barrel. Can't get the first. Oh, Marky finds him. But they're boogeyman. Drummer boy is still on the site, but Proto Bones gets the second. 
drummer boy finds one. Oh, here's he Luke in that. He's, he's swinging he's out. Inevitable. Proto bones with a 3k. Here he is coming in. Oh, and Gilfie goes down the cod. Oh, you know, man. You said in the first half that Proto Bones really needed to have a resurgence, and we're seeing it right now. He's yeah, almost more positive. You had a very rough start here, but he is showing why he is one of the highest rated players in the elite. Lamb's having his rounds. Yeah. Everybody's online for the ribeye rippers as far as. True. As far as everybody's concerned, 35 to 18 on Drummer, you know, at this point, he's not fragging super high. He's just getting the kills he needs to. He's no longer carrying. He has that team there for him. Exactly. And while we were saying, you know, it was a bit more of a team effort for the 1Gs, it, the team hasn't been showing up. They've kind of been dropping. And you, you can just look at Luke and Ill Will. It seems a lot of the times they're getting picked off on their own, yeah. swinging at the wrong time, maybe not making themselves tradable enough. It wasn't having the best of CT sides, but... Oh, oh. oh, he's been spotted. Luke's been spotted. He does notice. He's not holding... He's pulling for the push, but it's not coming. Jumping around. Oh, he's been spotted. Protobons gets it, though. I don't know. Again, it's a on. really odd way. Really odd fight to take. He gets the second. It was, they're just dry swinging these angles. Like, even if Protobones wasn't there to collect that. I mean, Drummer Boy's still watching from Arch. Running in no Utah. It seems like everyone's so disjointed, just trying to each be the hero in this game instead of working together. The the two v five, you know, if they want to make it happen, they need teamwork now. But it is just not looking likely. Marky on thirty nine HP, Philology on seventy five. They have no space anywhere on the map. Thirty five seconds about to hit on that clock. Yeah. It's looking Trouble grim. Thirty five and eighteen. God, sixteen by nine. Repping the good ratio out man. there. This this time is just it's ticking down yeah, even more, and they have no info. Failology and Marky have to be, bring us something monumental. It's gonna start right here. It's gonna come up slowly. It's free for chilled pyro. One v five required of Marky with the Galil, and it just doesn't get one. Sixteen to ten, almost a flawless CT side from the ribeye rippers. Absolutely insane resurgence by them. The 1G's sort yeah. of breaking down. The, at, at their moment of need, the Ribeye Rippers, they came Bugs. together. Drummer boy, 35 and 18. And I said, you know, COD coming back in, maybe he just contributes to the economy, but he contributed a lot more. He had his rounds where he single-handedly won them the, the round, you know? All right. This is not the last game of the stream, though. Of course not. We do have... Another game after this in Premiere for anyone who wants to extend their fix of CSGO. And, CSC, yes. And you will be seeing you. Caster swapped out for that next game as well. No. Some new blood in the in the in the sound waves. So sad. Unfortunate. No. Yep. Ugh, Nitro. God. Five three. More like five out of ten. <laughs> God. <him. laughs> <laughs> no. I'm just Yeah, so we're gonna be going for break. We'll bring you back in with Nitro and 5-3 for the premiere game after this. I have been Chu Tang, and you have been I have been the Antlion, or as some would say, Antillion, because reading is hard. And reading is hard, you know, it's, it's a hard thing. Not everyone can do it. And you no, know, we'll see you later. Going to break.
Guys, it's what up, with gamers Nitro and on, game ads, it's your boy Nitro on here. Yup, yup, and I, I'm 5'3", you know, I'm, 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 it's me, the real me. Yeah. We, we got a, we got a sticky, poopy premiere game. Or, what? <laughs> yup, it's, this is, it's happening, the game, the game of Counter-Strike, yup, it's from behind, 1v2, not gonna happen, he's lame, still, just be better. X. Skill issue? I would have won that knife round. I I win that knife round every day of the week, honestly. Yeah. I, I would have won one v five actually. Same, same, dude. We're we're just built different. I, I would have taken these guys to the south ends of London. Like they don't understand. A London simulator, real? <laughs> it's real. Out here in ancient though, I think this is nowhere near London. I this this is much more like the jungles of. Vaguely South American area. A a country that happens to exist and has a jungled area. Yeah, this is that area. Yeah. But uh, anyway, we have the Radon Royals representing gas and the copy pastas representing the UPS, the United Parcel Service. And right now we're coming in with a standard A rush right now on the pistol round. It's gonna be Renand and Dark Potato here. He gets all five, Dennis. Off. Oh. All right, Renan, force the back in. He's still get one. Renan That's bang, absurd. Bango, but Swift with the trade. Four v four now. Oh, he's gonna get caught off. Oh no, Katomi found Andrew. I'm oh, for sure Andrew's gonna get that in mid. Crazy finds Katomi though on the trade. Three v three. From behind gets him. Oh, Ooh, what a shot! And it's just Dark Potato now needs three. Come on. Three one taps. I'm I'm waiting for it. It's happening. He has it, a it's not oh. happening. I lied. I'm sorry, guys. I won't lie again. Too fast. And it's gonna be one for the Radon Royals. Start for gas now again. If we're looking at it, both of these teams are five and four. Premier Premier is a very tight knit group, right? It's it's because the they're all better than us. I not. I mean, sure, but there are teams that go like zero and five in pro league, and they're all better than us. I don't know what that means. <laughs> uh, Listen, those teams are worse than us, all right? If you yeah, have one win all in CSD, it's like your three average, Yeah, your average Ken Kender opera would have definitely just waltzed right onto that EG team. I would have absolutely that. murdered Wiz. Anyway, coming in on the eco. Crazy finds one, Andrew finds another. Ooh, toxic. Gets one, almost gets two on the front behind, but... It's it's an eco round. We're in premiere. We shouldn't expect to see much like a bit, you know. I mean, there's still it gets wild here. We we can't deny that, but we expect them to hold a tighter ship, you know. Not a lot of dumb things to happen. And Renand, he's just gonna play for an exit. Maybe get a gun off him. Does get one of the swift. Not enough bullets in his Mac 10. Two coming through cave. Oh, okay, he gets, he a gets second, two. Actually. Wow, that's crazy. I, I guess not. It, it is a bit weird casting these premiere games, right? Because you're like waiting to see some sick, insane action where someone pops like four one digs, but then you remember that's not really going to happen because these people actually use flashbangs. <laughs> no, I'm not. I wasn't. I casted all the premiere playoffs two seasons ago. We got those plays oh, like a fair bit. Maybe with the opt, you know, like with Scroobs and them, but. Um, but you Scroobs know. is a build different, you know? Like, you can't really yeah. base anything off Scroobs. I think it was Scroobs and from behind. I forget exactly who was in the game, but... Anyway, coming out in mid, grid flat. He gets away quickly. Renan does not want to Oh, my go. God. Oh, dude, smoke straight up. Check him PC right now. Oh, wow. From behind, Start riding the moment. He gets from behind, that. Gets oh, him. oh, it's just 
It's all raid on Royals, and I think it's already going to be a save. We're 20 seconds into this round. Ah, oh, it's crazy. And it's already over. Insanely fast-paced aggression there. Yeah. Bango so gets holding, that swift on it. Uh-oh. Holding for the B push, maybe. It's toxic. I it's think toxic. Game, the pain in the game here. Oh, everyone. They're setting up everyone. Wow. Tommy gets him. I mean, you can't really replicate what you saw with Bango there. That was something special. Gets the kill done yeah. and then it flicks through the smoke to get the Red House yeah, player from give behind. Us, give us every good angle of that body. Thank you. From behind should not have gotten the oh, kill he did. Oh, what is going on here? Insane. Wait, hold on. I mean, yeah, this round's already over. They're still going to save, but a bit expensive. You won't see an op next round on the T side. Oh yeah, yo, can we see, can we see Swift's corpse, corpse again real quick? I'm not sure if that's even fit. Oh, oh, we're getting it. The hey, hey, dude. let's go. My man is schlumped. He is schlumped. Schlumped. Alright, 2v2 now. Toxic and Katomi getting a few exit frags. We're right on their Boymaf vibes right now. As a raid on rail, let's take a third. Swift had two Popeye's biscuit with no drink. <laughs> You ever have those I things, would... dude? They they no, take I've all of the moisture never, from your mouth. I've never been to a Popeyes. No. They they it's absorb like, really, every I molecule of water. I've never I got me some chicken, but I've never been to a Popeyes. Uh, I wouldn't know. Maybe, maybe it's just the Popeyes around here, but I found that the chicken was like ninety nine percent bread, and then I mean the, I've I've had it. I've only ordered like dry. fried chicken from like a Cracker Barrel, and that was basically how it was. It was great. I mean the bread was immaculate. Ooh, from behind gets toxic. Yeah. It does all oh, my hand again. You can't Arizona, stop not him. getting anything, but Dark Potato, this time he gets one on the front behind, wins that duel to 4v3. Two guns still in play, one for Katomi and one for Dark Potato. Trash on the Deagle. Been a bit quiet, but again, early days. We know players can start off slow and build up as the game goes on. Trash, of course, is also known. He's a great entry from my experience playing with him. Finds one on the Swift, though, in mid. And Katomi's found Andrew. Oh, he's found a second on the Bongo. Oh, no. That was their biggest weakness. Oh, oh wow, and he third. even gets the third. That was their biggest weakness on the map right there was Katomi alone on the B site, but they peek him one by yeah. one and give him those fights. Jeez. What a round from Katomi. And that, this is where those all those guns they lost come back to him. Only Bungo has any money left. 6,500 for him. over a bunch of... He had 70... 7,200... This is, this you'd think he and would just drop PP Bisons, you know? Like, that's that's kind of the obvious I, thing. I actually wouldn't think you would drop PP Bisons, you know? It's, I think I'm like sorry. an awful investment. That's, oh, it's, it's kind of like skins, you know? You just hope it gets buffed at some point. You get, you hope it gets buffed mid-match so you can start being good with it. No, I don't think anyone's hoping skins get buffed. Like, if you have a Dragon Lord, you become Genji. Or is it Hanzo? I don't know my Overwatch characters. They both have dragons, so you wouldn't be wrong there. Okay, no, we're good. we good. Alright, cool. Good. Right, Bongo, maybe we can find Insane, insane one tap. Oh, oh, yeah. He's got him. Crazy. Woo. Andrew, just no one's watching Cave, but pushed in. 2 before. Two Deagles. Swift gets Dark Potato. A is open for business, and he's got a gun. Now, Swift, you know how dangerous he can be, but Vernan takes care of him. Everyone has left B, by the way. So if Andrew is able to get the bomb back and get the site quickly, and the, but he doesn't know that B is abandoned, he, he couldn't know. I mean, I would know, because I would have X-Ray toggled, but I understand some people want to play the game legit. Yeah, you know. I, if I if, he, can, if way, he can find this kill with the scout by some miracle, you know, if Toxic peeks into him and he gets that kill, it's it's a free bomb point. Oh, oh, it happens. Toxic, not ready for it. An I AK thought not, not Toxic's going to play very calm, very passive. Now it's a 2v1. Now he, the rotate's already here, and Andrew, Mr. Nut, finds one. Last one does he read, does one he read the second? Oh. No, he, I think he would. I think he was aware. But he was he was aware of the possibility, but thought he was going yeah. up short, or maybe he was still back in red. I don't think he was peeking CT with the intent to like just destroy the guy there. Andrew, a great attempt, almost a one v three, but wasn't. He gets a bomb plan out of that situation is absolutely insane. Yeah. Swift's bait to rotate them over to the A bomb site was absolutely crucial. I think maybe a bit of an overreaction there from the copy puzzles almost throws the round for them, but in the end they do get it, and it's three to two. Bai is coming back in for the raid on Royals now. Gas. Let's see if they're cooking this round. I think electric is better, less health risks, but you never know. The you fumes, got something popping. The fumes build character. 
for Nan in the donut position. He's been caught out here a lot, but he's also had a few successes here as well. Defensive smoke to fall into. Yep. Swift pushing now, into Donut Swift and just holding the smoke, the though. It, 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 they're wise Man's to this. around, but I doubt he's going to commit all the way. It's going to be Swift. See who wins out here. Back Man turn. Is Swift has right it. Now, but he's just turned around, but still loses out the fight. No damage done the other way. From behind us, found Trash. Toxic. Take some yes. damage, but A's fallen. Six. Right on Royals. They're so good at just dismantling nice all of these opponents. The Katomi's gone down as well. Just 5v Toxic now in the cave. And they're hunting again. They've been very aggressive going for these guns in these rounds. They always wait the plant. And they get together now. Even with the wall spams. A lot of the guns. Toxic goes on the bongo. And that is it. I mean, I know I'm saying bongo. Like, I, it was the, the instrument. It, should I say bango? Like, what do you think? You Say bango if you really want to get people mad. It's, you look you look across the I know, I know the one. I know the one. Whoa. Banjo, whoa, whoa, man. whoa. Banjo, that's a bit risky. But I can't blame you for going for Banjo, it. Banjo, that's the one. Anxio. Bango and ancient. Mm, that was terrible. Sure, I shouldn't yeah. have said that. Great, so great one. So, it's, oh, oh shit, double nade from Toxic. Wait, hold on. 5v3 immediately. On the Wrench required. Oh, a leg from, from behind. Wait a minute. Oh, this, this could, could be going he only has a Oh, this could be going horribly wrong. It's a 5v2. Wait a minute. Oh, they have to go for this, right? There's no way they let this slip. I said we wouldn't Andrew. see plays like this, and we're Got, watching. Oh, it. damn, big immediately. This is this is intense. This oh, is this intense. is this is something else. But it, oh, but Swift might get a multi here. Finds one. Whoa. Finds a second. It's all falling apart. This is where you have to save at this point. Toxic. It's time to drop the op, or not? Maybe not. Maybe I should just believe. Toxic has believe. six health, but he has the op. Oh, he's done perfectly. Andrew's won the round. Toxic goes oh, down. Oh my goodness! Ooh, what an insane five sequence. Five v two converted. What a round that could have been. What an opening. Three kills, but couldn't convert to 5v2 on the B site. And we can't let the fact that that was an anti-eco distract from the fact that it was a 2v5. At that point, it might as well have been a full armor clutch. They've got full guns there. It's insane, the sequence there. Armor. Can't be a full armor clutch, and I'm going to have armor. Did they not have armor? I could have sworn a couple of them had armor. Cool. Anyway, that that was crazy. <laughs> Absolutely. The nade stack into great, mid, and then yeah. they know they can take the push into front behind. They very, very intelligent. This time, the nade back mid doesn't land any damage besides 15 on a bango. 15 for 300. He's been kind Not of getting burden. exposed here, but let's see if he can build himself up now. Crazy finds one on the trash. Oh, there's another one mid. Not ready for it. Bango gets it. How does Crazy get one there? I this These people are, like, inhuman. He just knows. It's simply Something better. Sometimes you feel yourself on, you know, on Ancient, especially. Playing him in events is is kind of my answer to that question. You know, he's insane. Insane's actually a different player. Don't talk to me ever again. Okay. Tommy does not get the frag on the Andrew. They're abandoning. No, okay, no, they're not abandoning A. They're simply changing up their stack. Although, oh, I he's believe... Already crossed, he's already crossed. Oh, what? what a snappy what? headshot from Andrew. No reason he should have gotten that kill. And that's B. A little bit oh, lackluster. I would, still away, I would, I would still go away here. Oh, no. They're walking Dark into the potato. heavy B, and there oh, it is. Dark Potato finding one. He, two, yeah. he rotates back into A. Toxic is completely isolated here. If they can figure him out, if they can expect him... Have to have flax <laughs> and, hit, hit, and he gets the spray down. Flash goes uh, maybe a bit too far. That Time to bosses Andrew get that round. It. Wow. That, that's, that's so unfortunate that they lose that there. Yeah. I mean, Andrew, what a shot that was. Very snappy indeed, but... The left side flick. Yeah. Now, unlike last game, the Elite game, we're not seeing anybody run away with some incredible performance here. You know? Very Nobody's even. putting up... You know, yeah, on both sides even, even if the score isn't even, but they're rushing me now. Crazy's coming up with the Mac. He's kind of alone, but Andrew, good trade. 
one in the cave. They have to clear this out. Andrew does not find Toxic. Toxic's going to fall back. He's going to give up the site. 4v3 we take. It's possible, you know. Two from each side. They've got a lot to worry about. If from behind can't get one here, it might as well be cool. one. He has to, only has the MP9. Dark Peter with the trade. Ooh, there you go. Doesn't get him. It's a 1v3 now for Swift. He's flanking through the cave. They, they think he's I, ramped, though. I don't think, I don't think it's not planted for him. He Toxic, can't wall spam. He's had an idea now. No kit. If he would have gotten, they had a chance. But Toxic clears it up. A great round from him. And that'll be a fourth of the copy pastas. You almost feel like, uh, like from behind needed two kills there on long. But at, yeah. at the end of the day, they I mean, needed, needed that kill cave. We deal with CC there, or at least not die. But the trade was great from Dark Potato. Got on that immediately. Yep. Copy pasta is playing very well, even in the rounds that they're. Well, I can't really say that because uh, you see, you look at the rounds that they've lost and it's mainly three kills out mid and then they explode onto yeah, a site. True. Copy Radon Royals have basically tried just each round. They're trying to punch them right in the face, and sometimes Copy Pasta's dodges. They hit them with a the counter punch. It almost feels like they're trying to be too dynamic in their gameplay. Like mid has been working for them, and they're just yeah. not going for it again. I mean, Finan Pro, it's call me great adjustment. Gets two, gets three. What almost a spray fourth. for him. He's been hitting oh. the recoil master, that's for sure. From behind gets one. Oh From behind God, gets two. Behind. Swung by CT, CT though. He had to have seen him. Dark Potato coming around long. Oh, the repeat will be his end. Katomi only on three health in that round. Maybe like one more bullet comes his way. Maybe so. one one of those headshots that goes to the body. Could have been a much different round. Yep. Still two kills there from the hard magical. Yeah. It's always a fine margin in CS, you know? Looking at one round with a drummy boy when ill will jump through the smoke. For those who weren't there, you missed a great game, by the way. Inferno. Check the bud. <laughs> Everybody loves Inferno. Everybody loves Inferno. It's, again, they're, they're not going for mid. No, I don't know. You know the Cowboys haven't been very aggressive in mid to this game. They've played a lot in Donut, mainly. Oh, well. I say that trash. There's that peak, oh, punished by the off. Yeah, that's uh, that. Yeah. I guess you know from behind he just makes a read. You know, I I'm just not at that level. My head's not big enough. They've got Who's the right there? read here. They've they've got the right bomb site. If they hit A here, they can find some very isolated duels. Depends on how well Dark Potato can hold this angle. No one in the Donut smoke landing. Fuck up donut. Those of Nate, they know his back sight. Great Nate, actually. Oh, Whoa, Swift! What an entry! Absolute drive by Pommel's Dark Potato. Renan gets crazy. Oh, through the smoke! What? Just through the smoke. Doc Toxic gets him back through the box. That's a 3v2 now. It's, I don't. The shots that goes from this behind man. Katomi. Fernand, I mean, dead to rights. It's just. Toxic. He's in on the site. It's almost impossible to get up. Finds one in the flip, but Andrew gets him back. My now, God. Sick for Radon Royals now. The, the shots Imagine we're seeing out of these players is just absurd. They're hitting some absolute blinders, as some might say. Some absolute gray screeners in the case of From Behind with that kill on Katomi yeah. CT. He was actually tucked more towards the right side of the wall, I believe. So yeah, he just shot him. He just put one through the smoke. He got flopper spooked. Yeah, that's what they yeah. all say. You got flooped, you know? Exactly. No more no more heavy mid, unfortunate. Alright, trash, he's gonna peek in again. Go oh, big actually successful here. From behind, can't get the trade. Open and now they're track. falling back. They're they're just gonna hold this advantage and yeah. wait for a reaggress somewhere on the map. Cave. They might push it out on this. It's sweet. Oh, this, is, this is oh, so wow. bulky. That is certainly something. And right now. And the weaponry still isn't really there. But it doesn't matter. They're winning all of the fights. 2v4 now. They're just going to run it away from behind and Banga. This is Bongo. brutal. You think Renan gets both here? Okay, never mind. Dark Potato is a kill stealer. Caught him. Yeah. Get him out. Bango finds one, but Renan gets to... Trade Insane. six six for all even yet again. What a round! Because homie just running through the smoke as soon as it gets popped down, finds Andrew with the mag seven. 
Crazed trash, it. you know, he got killed peeking mid last time, but it didn't let him deter him. He just ran it down again. Actually got away with that one. Two yep. quick openings for the copy pastas. Very you can imagine the, the chaos in the in the voice comms from Raid on Royals there. You know, you, you get the you get the kill mid, they fall back, and you think they're just gonna hold positions, and then right as you start to let yourself relax a bit, the re-aggress with the mag seven through Ooh. cave. Could have been unfortunate there. Oh, oh, oh wait, he got both! He got two with the tech nine! Two with a tech knight. He's just full running oh, it though. Gonna, wait, he's, he's lives. Oh, he's gonna get it. He's gonna kill him. Oh, but Renan's got got the back. Now Toxic is playing back right now. This is Not still, being in the cave right now. This is still very chaotic. You see yeah. Toxic's worried and movements. He's very worried about where he's going to from. Oh, this is the no. shot. This this is highway robbery. If Radon Royals can win this round, it will be highway Both robbery. Something they can never get away with. Dark Potato and Renan. Oh, spotted. You know he's there. Finds one through the smoke. Swift. Oh, they're both oh, through. Oh, oh, Andrew oh, gets oh, them both. Goodness. What a round. That could have been an odd one, really. It, it shouldn't have happened, but Swift with that Tech 9, just the instant headshot adjustments back and forth to get those kills and gave running through. Toxic scared and alone on long and gets taken out by from behind on a missed shot. Yeah, bit of a weird one. Two incredible Tech 9 entries from Swift. From a bit behind. strange, isn't it? Oh, my, you good in the chat, brother? Everything's broken on the Twitch chat. What's going on, man? Uh, oh, nay. Oh, wait, down to 2 HP, you swift. Great nades. Oh, almost finds Dark Potato. I was looking for a second on 7 HP. He's looking in, but the rest of the team has opened up the A site. There's no one there. They've gotten the pick mid, but. A is open, and I think they're realizing it now. Everyone's running back to CT. Crash is in the donut. Sick From behind, the stone dark potato. Oh no. From behind, again. Misses this time. Tell this me something, Mango. Tell me something crazy. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh no, not again. 1v3 required of From Behind. He found one. Renan gets him. Wow. Two with Another a eagle. One. Seven hundred dollars to take two scalps. That's a pretty good bargain. Yeah, it's all—it's almost paid for itself there. That that this game has been neck and neck. It has been a back and forth. It is a straight up brawl, throwing haymakers at each other. Bare knuckle right now, boxing. Heading for the last round of the half. It's going to be a weird buy for the raid on Royals. Can Gas win the half, or will it be the copy pastas? Taking a swig of me all what I might. It's like I got I have to swift British. Oh what's going on here? Nope, I'm just being a weirdo. Hey, you know, I think the British are fairly normal people. The British the British are mostly normal. You just gotta exclude the fact that they're they're human, which means they're not really normalized. What? Oh, what does this mean? <laughs> Your words. That's the words to mean words from dictionary, the definitions from dictionary. And I know what they all mean individually, the, but it's not in this combination. Andrew finds geography. trash. 2v3 now. Personally, I think they win this every day of the week, right on Royals. I, th I think I think this. Flying Mango might not. not I lied. For it. I'm sorry. Andrew can't beat Renan. That's gonna be eight for the copy process. The close game here for sure. Some see good stuff. Andrew yeah, from behind. But again, three at the top for copy process. I think the raid on Royals. I think they gave up on mid a bit too quickly here. I think they should have been continuing to start flying out. Absolutely. It seemed like they were really they were not ready. The copy process for a fast mid take. They were getting into donut a lot. Winning out against Dark Potato and Renand, but I don't, I wouldn't be too angry with seven. You know, I I take definitely it. Definitely good. I I take that. It, it, both teams are playing very confidently right now, so that that's a good thing. Yeah, no one is shying away from any fights. They're taking everything that they have to. Sometimes maybe getting a little audacious, too ambitious with the peaks, but overall, nothing out of the ordinary. Here. What? 
Here we've got copypastas cantankerously skulking towards their devilish deeds. Wow. Shakespeare would be jealous of that one. I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty sure that just means the same thing as doing a little bit of trolling. Did that- was that a toxic. ghost through the wall? What? Yeah, toxic finds one, but there's another one. Oh! Double entry. Both. It's time for Bango. I- it's- the, this retake is kind of rough. I mean, what- uh, what can yeah, you do? Yeah, they're already- over? Yeah, 1v5 required a Bango. Can't get one. Flawless pistol from the copy passes now. Insane sequence Nine, out seven. of Toxic. That was, that was, uh, how, I didn't even think you could, like, wall bang that with a clock. That's kind of insane. I mean, it is a, a, a tarp. I mean, it's a tarp with stuff in, you know, that it covers. Yeah, but, like, it, it's covered, it's covering air. It's covered, I will it's burp on the microphone. Don't you, don't you oppose me. Don't you oppose me with your logic and reasoning. Sorry, I have to, you know, someone's, someone's gotta have one here. Unfortunately, all you got is me, so... I'm, I'm trying my best. A rush mid now, Dark Potato completely fine, Andrew gets they it. Right on Royals win. Gets they won. Up, oh, gets two. Gets two. Renan gets the other one. Tomi's gonna try and finish them both off, and that is a 10-7. A quick round on the mid play here. Uh, okay, so Raid on Royals didn't win, but that's basically a win, right? You get two kills on a full USP buy. I don't think any of them... Did they buy nades? I don't think they bought nades. They bought a flash. A, a singular flashbang, truly economy breaking. It is economy breaking. Three hundred dollars is a lot of money. You say three hundred dollars? Yeah, it's how much the flashbang costs. <laughs> it's two hundred. No, it's three hundred, right? I, I'm not dumb. It's two hundred. It might be. I'm gonna correct you. I'm just gonna it's let 200. you. It's two hundred. <laughs> I'm just gonna let I you have wonder. four thousand hours in CS:GO. I don't know how much the flashbang costs. Anyway. Mega IQ, Katomi, However. Seems goes down the crazy. Trying to go into a fast B play here. Oh, that that's Trash just A though. They, them, they literally just have A. That's. They actually do just have A. Trash is through. There's no they, one there. They, they, they have not throwing a smoke. Bango a little in the donut, but that's about it. Two are coming in now. It's gonna be a four v four retake. Oh my god, this is such a swift move. I can't. It doesn't work though. That's that would have been such a swift move if they ran through that smoke and got like one or two kills there. Two v three, found one maybe. Andrew does find one. Two v two now. Andrew will pop both. Oh, that's got that's got to end it, right? Surely. I mean, it, it burns off so much time. They know where both of you are now. Oh, the that, that, that has to be it. This has to be it. This has to be it. This has to be the save. Gonna be 11. 7 11 here. Copy passes. Win three straight on the T side to open us up. Oh, wait. We might have another one. They're all coming in through mid now. Oh, no. They've lost everything. Ooh, that's what a right. transfer, but they've lost everything now. 7 11, but we've got no terrible hot dogs here. Hey, man. I used to. I, after doing after-school basketball in fourth grade to get 7-Eleven hot dogs. I found that they always taste like my... a mix of rotted mountain... Of rotted mountain? That doesn't rot. I'm, I need to, like... I need to not talk. I mean... Yeah. <laughs> okay, wow. That's rude. I can't believe you just said that to me. Hey, listen. I was I'm, like I'm opening a ticket. I'm opening a ticket. That's it. Oh, no. No. Well, that nade. Huge damage on a Great trash. He tries to push trash, up and get yeah. a kill. Crazy, find him with the 5-7. Best gun in the game. See if you can get a second. Free he can! Fire. Oh no. The... Oh. Crazy. So, He's just applying okay. that pressure. Toxic and Renan have heaving this up to a 3v3. <laughs> Swift! Great shot from Toxic. Scalp absolutely peeled. They're both coming up B. Crazy's alone, but he's already found two on the 5-7. He could find two more. But they molly him out. Molly him out. Uh, he's, uh, oh, escaped to sight, but... Caught out by Katomi. Oh, oh great my shot. god. What a shot from, from behind. Did we see one now. Oh, oh my god. Got it again. No way. Two insane deagle shots to win out the round. What is that? What a way to open your account on the CT side. First round coming in on the pistols. Great shots from Crazy, but something even better from, from behind there. 
What did he put in his cereal? What kind of milk did he use? Uh, he eats Captain Crunch, oops, all berries, and he does strawberry almond milk, from what I've heard. I, strawberry almond milk? Yeah. Okay, I no longer respect this man. <laughs> What's Clearly the vanilla wrong? flavor is the best. I wouldn't know. I'm, I'm not an almond milk connoisseur. That's the only milk I can drink. So, well, uh, not the only one, but it's the only one that I tolerate that I'm physically able to drink without oh, having repercussions. So you're just intolerant of other types of milk is what I'm hearing. I'm, I'm milkist, I'm Toxic sorry. Toxic finds Bango coming in straight, and he's gonna push through the smoke, I think. As Swift has left his post, giving up mid. But he's gonna check out now. There's gonna be probably an engagement here between Swift and Toxic. Swift wins that, but Trash finds Swift in return. Crazy goes down to Renand. 2v3 now. One on each side. It's just from behind in Donut, but I say just from behind. We know what he can do. Especially, oh no, but Dark Potato wins him out. He gets that kill now. Eagle. I don't know if you're going to check all the way in the right. No, he's, he doesn't he's even check it. Cook. Yeah, Trash gets him. 12-8. That round with the Deagles. A distant memory. As Copy Pastas hosts another. But they have a lot of money to raid on Royals. I say that. Two of them have a lot of money. But we'll see what they do now with the economy. The rest need to draw from their social security. Yeah. Swift does buy up on the M4 from behind, sticking to the Deagle. He says, you know what? I got two kills with it before. Got nothing with the AK. This is my gun right here. I think you just have too many bullets. Too, oh, yeah, too too many bullets, too many chances to miss. Just just exactly. force yourself to only to only hit headshots, you know. Exactly. That's all I say. That's why it's you like, that's why you use the that's why you use the scout, right? It it's like the it's like the Zaiwu mentality of only practicing through pugs. I not really, but yeah, I, I I'll give you that that one. Yeah. It, it's somewhat. So, listen, man, I'm I'm pulling at strings here. I'm trying to make this interesting. I'm sorry. How about you use those? Strings that crafts some beautiful lace metaphors. I, I, I'm just as bad at it. Oh my god, he's done it again. Swift finds toxic. It's oh, if it, oh, oh my god. It, he's what? trying. If Hango has done Andrew. Oh, geez, what is going on? Trash finds the last two onto Swift and Bango coming out of the cave. And that's another wrap of the copy bosses. It looks like they had some opportunities there to bring it back to Raid on Royals, but. In the end, I mean, they just weren't ready for Trash to be holding them out at the bottom of the ramp. From they behind, I think, got a little them. excited, peeking into sight like that. He gets the shot on the one guy, and even though there were still two other people alive, he just thought, no, there's got to be no one else on sight. So he just continues swinging wider, and Renan's able to clean him up. You, you put from behind on a deagle, and it, they just turn into, like, a totally different beast. Oh, yeah, of course. He's a bona fide pick with that weapon. From behind finds Trash, finally an opening for the Raid on Royals here. Last time they got an opening was with the 5 7. They did win that round. So let's see. They're now, holding they for another B. B. They have taken B. Now, Renand and Katomi are both sitting behind the door, and they've kind of split up the B defenders. They could find them. Oh, crazy. Crazy's getting hard cleared. Oh, oh man. it's getting cleared, yeah. Renan's got him. Andrew, coming up to cave now. He might... Oh. oh, from behind, just left. Look at the timing. Toxic uh, just left. He just that's a crazy work timing. And he just got the information oh, that he no. left. He's right. He just knows that he left, too. But from behind, gets a potato. Oh, Wait, they're, st no, they're no, still no. going towards B. Yeah, Toxic gets run through A. They don't trust this information at all. Yeah. There we go. The, the Toxic lurk. Is finally coming through, but there's still a player donut, so theoretically. Oh. Renan, he just gets away from him. They could have been a pick. They've realized the ball has dropped now. Cat's out of the bag. Everyone's going A. That's Toxic a huge... goes down the swift. Yeah. I think that's it for this round. I think Toxic needed to stay alive. Maybe stay in CT, try to do something. Oh, what a shot. He gets that. Renan in the 1v4. Swift doesn't get it, but banking a quick on the trade. 13-9. That was a really weird round. The lurks on lurks coming through, and then Swift just shutting it all down with a single kill there. That was that could have gone really bad for the raid on Royals. Yeah. I think 
yeah, Hoxie, I think he just needed to play some like advanced position in CT. We pushed up to the wall right outside B. But, yeah, Raynon Royals maybe getting away with that one there. Unfortunate timing could have been disastrous. But they've set Kabi Pasas in a do or die situation for their economy. They lose this or on the eco. So let's see what happens. That MAC-10 is going to have to go big in this round. That going to have to do something crazy. Watching Cave. Trash has already gone through. Trash finds Swift, but Andrew gets the trade through the wall. All right. Crazy. Still watching The silver in the smoke is just... Oh, it's like... yes. Andrew finds another, though. Andrew's going to need three. He gets it. Beautiful crosshair placement there from Andrew. Came in from behind, having a great game. Right now, Copy Pasta's definitely look the stronger team, but here in the 2v3, it's going to be Renand and Dark Potato. Two boys on A, on the CT side. Try and clutch out this round. They've, they have over-rotated to A and are now playing retake on B, so there is a world where Andrew somehow gets taken out, maybe on a, on a swing for information. But now they know. They're both on site. Andrew already got three in the round. Could be going for the ace. Smoke comes down. Dark Potato peeks into it before the smoke blooms. Mistake everyone seems to make. They see the smoke go down and not up. Andrew, not the ace stolen by from behind. But it is a tenth of Ray Down Royals. They've hit that double digit mark. Far too many aces being stolen today. I think we just need to start cutting people from teams yeah, for stealing I aces. I don't, think, I don't think we've had a single ace, but we've had so many times. Someone's got the first four kills in the round and then not the last one. I'm looking Trouble at you, Cod. He was robbed of like two, two of them at least, in that game on Inferno. Yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of an ouchies. All right, so here on the eco, do you think Kabi Pasas will break Gas Hearts here, or will Radon Royals bring us to an eleventh? I'm not really expecting it. They do have smokes to run through Molly's, so it, it, it is possible. I'm not oh, completely I'm ruling out, but it's unlikely. Well. It's all crazy. They're just, yeah. they're just knocking them Simple up and that. lining them down, bowling pins in the alley. Renan <laughs> finds Andrew on the Glock, but Swift cleans him up. 13 11 now. Renan Royo's making a comeback. Now, the one thing I'm watching about this, and I think it's why I have not been able to improve as much as a player as my. I think I just crouch too much. <laughs> every I do the same crouch. thing. At the, at the start of every gunfight, I crouch. It's a really bad habit. Crouch, it's... Crouch. I need to stop. I need, I need someone. I, 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 but I also don't want to unbind crouch. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. I mean, it's I so important. It, it's, <laughs> but, it's, it's such a bad habit, right? Because it makes you so much easier yeah. to hit. You know, when you're playing DM and someone yeah. crouches to sort of get like some weird spray control or like a one tap, it makes it so much easier to kill them. And it, yeah. it's sort of like your brain thinks like, ooh, crouch, easy kill. Yeah, I, I need to stop. I, 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 it's so bad. It's such a bad habit. I can't stop myself. Anyway, Bango. Looking like he'll get... Oh, trash. Saw a sliver of his shoulder. In the game. He's been great on the entry. He's a great entry. Swift playing in the smoke. On the right side. He might get caught out here. No, Toxic. He wins the fight because Swift is the one that peeks out. Talk about Peeker's advantage, but sometimes it's best to just stay still. Crazy does find trash. Right now. Oh, Katomi goes down. Or uh, Katomi finds Andrew. And B's open. No one's there. Toxic finds Crazy. Oh, that's gotta be it. It's a 14th with the copy possible. Dark Potatoes find from behind. And it, it's wow. just like it's just like the pillars getting knocked down one by yeah. one. After a great T side there. Defenses seem to stand on Pillars of Sand. It's not great for the Radon Royals. And if they don't play their cards right, an Earthquake could come right in and knock them over. Yeah. You know, I mean, to be fair. I mean, they are gases after all. They're not liquids. They're not solids. True, gases. true. You can't expect them to be as sturdy on the defense. It's just a slow burn. They're poisoning their enemies. Well, from behind does get one, though. No poison Swift involved. Finds trash. Yeah. This is just direct fights that they're taking. Not expecting Swift to also be there oh. from behind's peak. And there's Swift the smoke one out. Uh, Bango no. gets Dark Potato. As we say that, 
The radon royals have come in with a very clean round here, but we've seen two B fives before, and it could happen again. We'll see. Tommy and Renan. Renan having a great game. He started off a little slowly, maybe. Losing a lot of duels in Donut, but starting well now. Katomi seems to always find some really impactful frags. Oh, he doesn't get checked. Doesn't get checked. The trigger discipline. That'll be two for Andrew. Andrew on 26 now. Top of the server. Only they kept five alive. Yeah. Right. Drops to be required, but if they did have five alive there, that would have been the exact kind of round that Raid on Royals would have needed. Still, very good win. Katomi left on a deagle. Now, we've seen the Raid on Royals be very proficient with the pistols, especially with the deagle. Can Katomi give us the same thing here? Now, he did find those two picks on the A site, for sure, on the eco. We'll see if he can give us another. Bomb is down on ramp, so it looks like they do want to end EP here, you know. Very, very heavy they're taking mid. It does look pretty clean. They are just going to go B here, most likely. Yeah. They've, they've also gained mid. Really they have the entirety of mid for free. Yeah. They've walked up trash, and he loves to play around the smoke. Him and Toxic. Two Ts getting into CT. How do you expect that to aggress yeah. the ramp from Andrew? Renan's found crazy though. Bango's gonna get talk trash here, yeah, but B's open. It's gonna be a retake on the B site. Three right as you three. think things are gonna go their way, it's just trades back yeah. instantly. Every time. Copy process, bring one back. Tommy playing a Ooh, shallow angle. But now he's come in. Flash comes in, but it doesn't get anyone. Just Renan now. One V three required. He found Swift already. Doesn't get Bango. From behind, cleans it up. Great round from him. It's a 13th for the Radon Royals. Bringing it in within one. They could still win this. No overtime required. And the Copy Pasta is going to have a half by the Eco the Forest. Probably giving up a 14th right now. It, I mean, the money on the CT side here is extremely good if they win this round, which, I mean, let's be real, they're probably going to win this round. Three Mac 10s, two Deagles, a smoke, and a flash. This has a rush written all over it. And where else than the B site? No head armor on three Only one of these player players. Just crazy. Swift goes down the trash. Oh, they're going to cave. Oh, the ramp play might have been the one. Oh, Andrew finds Renan. Toxic does get Andrew. Oh, the team is a bit disjointed here. Bango might have seen that. They might know he's in there. Oh, from behind, definitely seems to know. But he's running up. Dark Potato might be out. Oh! The reaction he had the right idea, move. but great reaction shot. A little bit scrappy. Five Alive would have been the desired outcome here, but... A I think one Copy on three Process had their only. chances here to win this round, but... Yeah, it's... A bit, probably a bit not scary. played the way I would have expected it to be done. That's what? a crazy timing that Katomi just caught onto yeah, crazy there. Katomi, he spotted him on. He had a lot of timings. The copy passes here. Oh, but he's that pushing in a short. Never mind. Oh, man. no. All he Taking needs to do out. is just get the bomb plant there. Yeah. Hide. The round hide at 14. Eyes. This is the moment of truth. Even even if even if right with full loss bonus, you're looking at 3,400 for the next round for these T's. If they lose, they're still going to be on an extremely poor buy. No AWP either. Yeah, they need a bomb point at the minimum here. The CTs can afford to lose this round. The T's they can't. It's true. Toxic in the mid two mid two men mid held. Bango, this is a more forward mid setup than anything that else that they've done in the CT side besides yep. outright pushing it. This could yield some great results if Swift can drop one or two kills here. Somebody's peeking up. He's not going to check this. He's not going to check this. Yeah. There's the first. Dark Swift Potato almost one. offers the Getting second. Held. He swings out. Gets a second with the spray transfer. Dark Potato trades out. 4v3. Toxic. Oh. Almost had the timing there. On to Andrew. And all trade opportunities have pretty much ceased. 
He's gonna push through this though. Or not. He looked like he wanted to, but. The, the re aggress through ramp as oh, well. Re and. Trash is going through now, toxic. This is a bit risky. Potato. They need to get him. Andrew does go down. Both players are very low. Bango's got one. Two left here. No Molly bomb plan. Yeah, there from behind. Go. Wow. 15, and you look at the money for the copy passes. Khalil's in the util. AK's on some. That mid heavy setup, it plays off. It pays off very well. And then the re aggress the ramp later in the round. Definitely not expected by the T side of the copy yeah. passes. Now, maybe we need a bit more from tr Trash. Dark Potato on the entry. Somebody needs to do something. Yes, yeah, someone needs, needs to have it. an incredible round here. Flash comes in through mid. Oh, he gets spotted. Swift gets the back on the toxic. Took a lot of damage from the nades. Look Crash at this. Crash goes down from behind. The 3v5 already at the 14 to 15 scoreline this early in the round. This might this might be it for the copy passes. Guess. Might have took him a while, but they've finally been ignited here at the end of the game. Massive weeds for the copy passes, but the defense has held on. No room for error here at the end for them. And three more to find. They might have done it. Come they back did might have themselves. Been on. There is potential for untraded kills. They could totally find Swift. And as I say that, from behind, rotating into Donut to clear him out. He's the first point of contact. The first. Oh, he gets the pick. He oh, finds oh, the oh, like Whoa, what an adjustment. And now it's Katomi. Katomi in a 1v5. He finds one on the Andrew. Upgrades to the M4. Crazy's still on the site. Crazy doesn't get him. At oh, least the no, plan. This would be This would be unbelievable. Bango. Peeking in from short. Oh, Katomi's I'm gone around know. already. Surely he's called this. And yep, from behind is watching for a peek. Comes oh, out and gets the shot. Oh, great shot. That's it. The raid on Royals. What a comeback they had on the CT side. And that will be it for this match. Some amazing shots wow. coming out, especially from from behind. He was on from fire behind, that game. An incredible game ending on 31. 31 and 18. What a game. What a game. But that is going to wrap it up for tonight. Right yeah. on Royals taking copy pasta 16 to 14. Yeah, <laughs> I think that'll be it. No, we, I wasn't expecting to be here a second map, but I think I'm, I'm glad I was with the U Ant line. This is great. Fortnite balls. Never mind, this has been awful. <laughs> <laughs>